This is Twit. So Google's been doing some work in secret. NASA, which was a partner in this work, inadvertently published a paper which they almost immediately unpublished, but but before too long, people were able to get a copy of it. Of course. The, the Google research paper was titled Quantum Supremacy Using a Programmable Superconducting Processor. Quantum supremacy is a term used by quantum computing folks. In fact, I'll point you to a really good and completely impenetrable blog post by the guy who coined the term, Scott Aronson. Uh, he's, it's actually really great. Uh, Scott's Supreme Quantum Supremacy FAQ. Uh, he talks about what quantum supremacy is, but I will attempt in my own way to define it. It is essentially a proof that quantum computing works if a quantum computer can do something significantly faster than a Turing machine can do, then that's quantum supremacy. And in fact, in this paper... Uh, it was asserted that the Google uh, quantum computer was able to to solve a problem 50,000 times faster than the world's fastest traditional supercomputer. That so is amazing. It's, a con mm. it's, it's not a task you would want. Right. It's not solving a problem that anyone cares about, but it is, <laughs> it's merely a demonstration that you right. could do it. Uh, the, it's the proof of concept. There. It's it's kind of a random number thing, but uh, it was able to do it according to the paper in three minutes and twenty seconds. What would take the world's fastest supercomputer summit ten thousand years? But if you read the blog by Scott Aronson, you'll realize that it's kind of it's more complicated than that. It's more complicated than that. So uh, if you really care about quantum supremacy, it's probably worth reading this. He basically confirms the post saying, yeah, you know, I was involved in this. I've been trying not to tell anybody for a long time. It's been a big secret. Google pulled the article because they want to make a big splash when they announce it. Um, it probably would behoove everybody to, to understand a little bit more about what this means. It does not mean that a quantum computer is around the corner. Uh, by the way, he says, I did not uh, create the quantum supremacy phrase. It was coined by John Preskill in 2012. Oh. But he's widely considered to be the guy who first... Anyway, that establishes his bona fides for this article. Uh, and he talks about what the problem solved was likely to be and what it means. And it doesn't mean a lot of things. Um, so this is, this is important. It might, in fact, be the kind of thing that you'll look back and say, oh, I remember back in 2019 when we first... He, he likens it, Aronson likens it to Kitty Hawk. Yeah. So the first mm. flight of the Wright brothers, which, by the way, didn't become public for months. Right. <laughs> um, certainly didn't imply that we'd be able to fly across the country or across around the world it was in just a jet hobbyists, airplane. Just hobbyists yeah. doing but what they But it do. was the first time humans flew. Mm-hmm. For any length, any appreciable distance. And that's kind of what this is. So, um, but will it so what does crisis? it mean to Bitcoin? Oh, well, that's an interesting <laughs> question. Some people brought this up. I don't know if it means anything for Bitcoin. It would mean maybe if you could create a Bitcoin miner out of a quantum computer, which, by the way, that's years and years off. Mm -hmm. You could perhaps make us some money. But that's not likely. Remember, quantum these quantum computers have to be super cooled. It, they're very expensive to run. Right. They're very difficult to create, and they're incredibly unstable. Inst right. So mm. it's, it's not a practical. Sounds like solution. the perfect computer. Yeah, <laughs> just what you want. If you think if your you're computer, an, if you're an lot. evil rich monster, what do you do with right. it? Um, nothing. It doesn't. Okay. It doesn't mean anything. Not worth the trouble, even for even evil, evil rich monsters. Mm, not unless you've got the research means of NASA and Google. No, but it's fascinating. And if and anybody who watches our shows and is interested in this kind of stuff, probably really should read Scott Aronson's blog. His blog is scottaronson.com. S c o t t a a r o n s o n dot com. But you could also search for. Quantum Supremacy FAQ. You'd probably find yeah, it pretty dark. I doubt there's more up. than one. <laughs>